guys, this is Techno Geek with another tutorial on my how to playlist. Now, I personally don't care about the face um, giveaway or whatever the hell people call it, but you know, I just decided to do a video today with my face because I needed to pretty much anyway. So, first thing is that this tutorial is going to be showing you how to run Xbox games, the Xbox One games, and play them and stream on your Windows 10 computer, desktop, laptop, whatever. Whatever runs Windows 10, you can do this on. This does not work with Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, Windows 7 Professional, none of that. Only works with Windows 10, okay? Now, first of all, you need a Xbox One, obviously. Second of all, you need the controller. You need to have a working controller. Doesn't matter if it has full batteries or not, you just need to have a working controller. Second of all, you need a you need a wire that can plug into the port in this little spot right here. There's a little hole in the back of the controller underneath the, um, the button that connects your controller to the Xbox One and configures it. There's a little hole. Now what you want to do is, you want to take this the wire, you want to plug it into the back of your controller and then you're gonna plug this part into the side of the computer. Now, I'm running this on a laptop so now once I complete that it's just gonna make that noise. For you guys it's gonna install and do all that crap. Now, for me, I already have it installed so I'm going to go to the start menu and you're going to type in, you're, you can search it, do whatever you want, but I'm going to just click it. It should show up right here. It should be on, underneath Play and Explore, depending on how you have your Start Task Menu set up. But mine is going to be right here under Play and Explore. I'm going to open that up. And now, you're going to get to a page that looks like this, once it finishes loading. It's going to it's going to ask you to sign into your Xbox Live account using your Microsoft account. So you just sign in and then you get to a screen like this. On the right side it shows all your friends, online and offline. You can start a party, all that stuff, but that's not going to be what this tutorial is about. So now what you got to do is you got to go down here and click this button. Once you click that, you'll get to a screen like this, and once you have your Xbox One console on, it'll pop up right up here and what you want to do is you want to click connect mine is already connected but what you're going to do is you're going to click connect and then you're, it's going to be connected to your Xbox One and on your Xbox One you can it'll tell you what you're doing right now on your Xbox One right now I'm in my games and apps so now there's a few things you can do with this the first thing is you can stream to your Twitch account and obviously as you can see this button right here that says stream you just click right there and it'll start streaming but before you do that you have to download the twitch app on your xbox one now i'm not going to show you that because it's pretty self-explanatory on how to do it you go to store and then apps and all that so what you got to do is you download the twitch app you connect it to your uh, twitch account you confirm it and then you can click stream and it'll start streaming your Xbox. Now, once you click that, a, a window will pop up. I'm going to do the test streaming so that you can see what happens. It's going to do this. Start a quick test. It's just running. This is just running a test to make sure that I can do it. It's not going to stream right now because I don't want it to stream because I'm recording a YouTube video, as you can tell. But it's gonna, right now it's just gonna run a test to make sure I can stream. I would probably recommend you do this first, just in case, cause like, if you have bad internet or something, it might not work as well, you may lag. This will tell you if you can do it. Alright, um, we can't connect to your Xbox One, make sure it's turned on and connected to the network, then try again. Yeah, ignore this, I'm, I've been having problems with my Xbox connecting, I gotta reset my Xbox. But, um... Alright, after that, once you've completed that, you are going to go back to here, 
And after you've done the test, you don't have to run the test, but I just like to every now and then. You're going to connect to it, and as you can see, it's connected. So then you could stream and all that stuff. Now, if you want to play games, you got to go to... Let's find it. I think it's this one. My Games. Alright, here's My Games. Um, these are the games on your PC. No, I don't want that. Um, hold on. Alright, let's see here. Alright, well first of all, if I just click on a game like GTA 5, then what you want to do is, once it's finished loading, something is going to pop up right about here. Up oh, there it is. Play from console. So once I click that button, it's going to connect to my Xbox One, and it's going to start up GTA 5. And I will show you what happens. Goes to full screen mode, and it says connecting to Xbox One, and there we go. I'm now playing GTA 5 on my laptop. Now, when you do this, it's gonna, um, you're gonna need to reconnect your, um, you're gonna have to reconnect your controller to the, um, you're gonna have to reconnect your controller to the Xbox One, because when you do this, it disconnects it. And when you do this, as you can see, you experience a little lag. But, I mean, it's pretty worth it, because it's pretty cool. So, yeah. Then, once you've done that, to stop, you just go up here, you click Stop Streaming. And, there you go. You're right back here. Alright, guys, that's all there is for this tutorial. Need anything else, leave a comment in the description. Not, a, <laughs> not in the description. Leave a comment on my video, go on my channel, subscribe, give me a like. Hope to see, hear from you guys soon. See ya.